guys, so today's video is going to be my Bought It, Forgot It update for January, and I'm also showing you guys the products I'll be using for February. And let me just say, I, I haven't been able to talk about Bought It, Forgot It since I put up that video in the beginning of December. So yeah, take that back. Bought It, Forgot It for December. I just said January. I want to just quickly say thank you guys for the people who supported the series. Um, it was very mixed emotions with that video. Basically, I mean, I loved it because literally after I filmed that video I had so many tweets coming in with pictures of your bought it forgot it and that you love the idea and you were going to start using your products more that you forgot about this is not in any way a bragging video you know you don't have to have a large collection you don't have to have a small collection it doesn't, it doesn't have to be high end it doesn't have to be a drugstore it's just all about using products that you put on the back burner and I think it's cool to come on camera and be like, this is what I'm going to use for the month, this is what I'm going to use. And as you guys saw last month, I did quite a few, few videos using a lot of my Bought It, Forgot It products. So, I mean, I rediscovered some products, fell in love with products again, and that's what this video is all about. And especially being a beauty blogger, you know, I buy a lot of things to do reviews and to, you know, try new things out for you guys. Sometimes when I do that, I forget about products that I already have and that I love. I'm not saying that I don't love certain products, just some things don't get enough love. So I just want to put that out there really quickly before this video because a lot of people got offended by it and it's not supposed to be offensive. This is just a video to hopefully inspire you to, you know, go in your makeup collection and find things that you just kind of neglect and want to use up or use more of. Take it how you want. If you don't like these videos, you don't have to watch them. But to me, it does help me go through certain products, and I, I like the ideas. And if you like the idea, then give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for the people who supported the idea and were so sweet about it. Because there was a lot of mixed emotions, surprisingly. I was very surprised. Also, um, some of these items that I completely did not use, Keep in mind, I do give a lot of it to my friends. I actually have my friend coming over tomorrow, and I'm going to let her, like, raid through the stuff that I have in my bag. Because I keep a bag full of makeup products that I'm giving away. I give it away to my mom, my cousins, my friends, my family. I give it away to everybody. But some of these items I've decided I, I have sanitized them, so don't worry. And a lot of them I won't give away. But, like, there's, like, one or two items that I do want to give away to you guys. I did a poll on Facebook, and I said something about... You know, I there were certain products that I just did not go to for my bought it, forgot it, and so I no longer want to keep them in my drawers anymore just because I, you know, if I'm not going to use it, why keep it? Why not just give it to somebody who will use it? So I will be doing a giveaway on my Facebook page of like an eyeshadow palette um, or whatnot, something that I just completely do not use. I didn't want to do a blog sale. I feel like that's just... I have no need to do a blog sale. I would much rather not take your money and give you a product, you know, give something to somebody that would actually use it and love it and adore it. Because um, sometimes I buy things and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to use this all the time and I just end up not using it because I don't love it. Because I asked everyone on Facebook, I was like, do you think it's gross? Would you want me to do it? I mean, if I sanitized it, I wouldn't give away like lipstick, glosses, mascara, liners, anything like that. Just like maybe an eyeshadow palette. And a lot of you said it was fine. Give it away to somebody who would actually use it. So that's what I'll be doing on my Facebook page. So if you're interested in that, the link will be below. So I hope you guys are excited for that. But after that, like, 10-minute intro, let's get into what we need to talk about. First off, I'm going to show you guys the products that I did use and love for December. The first thing, I actually mentioned this in my favorites video, is the Lorac Pro Palette. I did not show this one enough love, and I have made some serious dents in these eyeshadows. Absolutely adore this now. I'm literally going to this every day. I just think it's a beautiful palette. And I'm so happy that I am now using it a ton because even today, I was using um, this Urban Decay Anarchy face case and I needed some transition shades, I needed a highlight shade, so I went to this palette and I was good to go. So next thing I also mentioned in my favorites video, it is this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I love this bronzer. It is so beautiful. Um, I think it's perfect, but this is awesome. This is definitely one of my top three bronzers. I just, I adore it. Next up, we have my NARS products. I fell back in love with my NARS items. I mean, I just love to love Joy. Love Joy was amazing, as well as Deucer. Deucer, Deucer, Douser. Girl, I don't even know what it's called. But I absolutely adore these colors. This looks super dark, but I promise you, with a light hand, it is stunning 
on the skin. I've seen a lot of fair skin people that have loved this and I know darker skin tones would love this as well. Lovejoy's Beautiful, Deucer, Douser, whatever is stunning as well and they just go with so many different looks. And then to my NARS Dan Mari palette. This was from a couple years ago and I love this. It was like a year or two ago. I don't know. I've been on YouTube for two years now. This is January so it was probably like two years ago. But I love this. I'm just obsessed. Sin has been a favorite. Orgasm has been a favorite. Super Orgasm is just a little too glittery for me. This is a nice highlight. It's not my favorite, but it's nice. I have Casino in a big pan, so I don't really go to this one as much. But Sin and Orgasm have been my favorites. This one will be a favorite probably in the summer months, but it's a little too bright for the winter time. Next product I've been loving is the Sigma Creme de Couture Cherry Apple Blush. Now, I didn't not use this enough, I just wanted to use it more. It's one of those shades that I feel like you have to have the right eye look for this. It's like a rosy red, and it's so gorgeous. It gives you that kind of flush like you've been out in the cold and you're just coming back inside. I, I love Sigma blushes, honestly. They're so pigmented, very creamy, they look so smooth on the skin, and I just, I really love this cherry apple. It is stunning. I think it is perfect for the winter time. Another blush that is perfect for the winter time is this Smashbox Passion Blush. This is a very rosy color. It kind of makes you look like you have that natural flush again, like you've came in from outside. I love this. Super smooth as well. The only thing about these blushes is that they are very, very messy, so I keep mine in this packaging that it came in. Okay, another item that I used a lot, but I'm gonna, I had to quit using because it is old and it just dried out on me and it's just not working anymore, is the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I think I quit using this about halfway through December just because it just dried out and just, it was just too old. So this is an awesome mascara though. It's hard to take off. You just need a really good eye makeup remover, but otherwise it's beautiful. Definitely will repurchase this. Okay, moving on to things I didn't use as much. Okay, so this I actually used once. I used it in my yearly favorites video. I did a smoky eye with it. I love it, but I only used it once. But I really do like the colors. It's just not something that I continuously went back to just because I had these sort of shades in my Laura Pro palette. But it's beautiful. I mean, if you're looking for a really nice drugstore palette, I recommend this one. I think it's stunning. I'm putting less products in my Bought It Forgot It. I learned after the, the December one because... I just noticed that there were so many that I couldn't use them all the time and it was just like I kind of got confused so I'm doing less products from now on in these Bought It Forgot It videos. Another thing I didn't use much but I did like was this Maybelline Lime Stiletto. This is very dried out so this will be getting tossed but it is a really great liner. It has a thicker felt tip. It reminds me of the L'Oreal Linear Intense Liner with how thick the felt tip is. This is a very black liner. I used to use this for a long time. Enjoyed it and yeah, it's just old and dried out but I would definitely repurchase this after I used up some liners. <laughs> Another liner I want to talk about is this MAC Eye Coal and Smolder. This is a very black liner. The only thing about this is it does smudge underneath the lower lashes and kind of out here in the outer corner. And this did burn my eyes. I noticed that it burned my eyes a lot, so I won't be using this anymore. I don't like how it burns. I don't know if it's because it's old or if it's just the formula, but this little guy will be getting tossed as well. This is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Loose Powder. <sighs> I like this, but I wish I wouldn't have spent the money on it. I don't think it's worth it. I don't see anything special about it. And it did cause a white cast underneath my eyes because I did use this to set my under eyes. It kind of looked like a white film on top. And I didn't like that. I just don't think this powder is worth the money in my opinion. I didn't notice a huge difference. So this one um, I might continue to use. I just really hated the white film that it left underneath my eyes. I might give this to my mom or something because she might like it. I don't know. I just don't think it's worth the money, to be completely honest, and this is a lot of product to go through, and I know I won't go through it, so I'll probably give this to somebody who will give it some love. So I do love this Steel Eyeshadow in Terracotta, used it like once or twice, and it's a beautiful shade, so pigmented, just didn't use it that much this month. This is like one of my go-to colors for like summer. Oh, I love it. This is like a favorite of mine, so I do love this. I do like these Chroma Lip Pencils. I think I need to just keep these in my purse to use them more because they're just a stick form, so they're easy to travel with. And the colors are awesome. For me to actually use these, I need to toss them in my purse for when I want to do touch-ups. So, yeah. I wouldn't repurchase them. 
but they are nice. But they don't, I will say that they don't last a long time on your lips though. That's just my opinion. Things I either did like or just did not use. I did not use this L'Oreal Willa Matte at all. The only thing I have done with this is swatched it. I just love MAC lipsticks for reds. I don't know, it's just one of those things that I just, I, I didn't go to. I know my friend will love this, so I'm going to give it to her. She loves reds, and I think she would adore this. So I'm going to give this to her. Yeah, I just, oh, I didn't use it a lot. I have, to be, I have to be honest with you. I regret buying that. Another thing, this one's just old. This is the Chanel Eyeshadow and Amethyst. This just needs to be tossed. It's a beautiful color, though. Like, seriously, it's absolutely stunning. It's just old. It needs to go. I don't even want to tell you how old this is, but I didn't use it much because it's just super old. These are the products that I absolutely don't like. I, um, I mean, I, oh, I'm just going to have to explain. So, Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. I don't like this. I don't notice a huge difference. The first one I had broke, and then they sent me this one, or Sephora sent me another one because I called and complained, and I don't like it. I don't think there's anything special about it. I don't think it makes my makeup last any longer. So this will be going to my friend as well. I just don't think it is worth it for me. I don't think... I didn't notice a huge difference. And I think it's just... It's not my favorite. I would much rather have the Benefit Professional than this one. I used this palette only in that video. And I'm just... I'm not digging it. I'm... I just, it's just not my favorite palette. So it's the Nude Tude from the balm. I'm just not a big fan. I don't necessarily like the way the eyeshadows are laid out. It kind of gives me OCD with how crooked they are. Uh, I just I don't like it. I think the shades are pretty but they come off a little different on your lid. Like this silly shade I thought was going to be a gorgeous brown with like the burgundy specks in it but it turned out just to be like a regular brown shadow so it wasn't anything special. The only eyeshadow I do like in here is Sexy because it's a gorgeous burgundy color but th that's no reason to keep this whole palette. So this is going to be the product that I do give away on my Facebook page just because I don't use it. I'm, it's just not one of my favorite palettes. This one's a hard one for me. I spent a lot of money on it. And I don't know. At one point I used it and I was like, oh my god, obsessed. I absolutely adore it. And like I couldn't stay away from it. Like I used it all the time. But now when I use it, I just don't see what I saw in it. Like, does that make sense? I hope it does. Like I don't see what I used to see in it. Um, oh, it's so hard to show this because it's so expensive and it cringe, I mean, it makes me cringe, but it's the Soleil Tennis Chanel Bronzer, and I don't know, maybe I'm not using it right, uh, I don't know, I use it with a duo fiber brush, I use it to bronze up my face if I want more of a natural look, which it is beautiful for that, but let's be real, I don't really go for the natural look all the time. A lot of the times I'm filming almost every day, so I go pretty much glam with my makeup. I don't know, it smells really good. I don't know. Let me know your favorite ways to use this in the comments below, because I can't give this away. I don't, I can't, I, like at that, I'm at that point where I can't give it away just because it was so expensive. I need to figure out ways to use it. So if you have favorite ways to use this product, leave it in the comments below because I would love to hear. I want to try to use this and get back to loving it the way I used to. And I would love to hear your suggestions on different ways to use this product if you have it. Because I know it's a great product, don't get me wrong, but I just don't love it like I used to. Okay, so now that that long part is over, I'm going to quickly show you guys the products I'm going to start trying to use for January. So... First off, we have this powder. I love this powder, but I have so many I just forget about it. It's the Urban Decay D Slick Powder. I got this off of Hot Look, so I got it at a really good deal. And it's just a translucent powder. Same goes for this powder. It's the Clinique Invisible Matte Powder, just to keep you matte. I just want to use this more. Try to use these up during the months because I use powder a lot, so hopefully I can hit some pan on these. Next, I have eyeshadow palettes. I have this BH Cosmetics Malibu Palette. I haven't even used this at all, but I want to try and use it more, especially since Spring and summer will be here before you know it, so I want to try these out. has a bunch of different colors in here, so this is in the palettes for this month. Along with this one from Urban Decay, this is the Vegan Palette, and I bought this forever ago off of Hope Look, and I love the shades. I used to use Half Baked and Smog all the time, so I'll probably get back into these this month and try to experiment with these two, like Herb 
and gunmetal. They're really pretty shades, so. And then this is the last palette I'm using in here. It's the BH Party Girl palette. I did purchase this a while back. I just haven't showed it enough love, so I can do like more affordable looks for you guys this month using the two BH palettes that I have in here. And this one has so many different shades. Oh, I am so sorry about my hair. But this one has so many different shades, and I'm excited to try it. It's really, really affordable, so be on the lookout for this a lot this month. Okay, for a bronzer, I just have one. It's this Tarte Hotel Heiress bronzer. I do like it. It's a little more on the red side, but I'm going to see if I can work with it and make it a nice contour shade. And yeah, I just haven't shown enough love. Again, got this off Hope Look. Hope Look gets me every time. I'm not even lying. I think that's even where I bought my BH Party Girl. And then three blushes, this Benefit Coralista. I do like this. I think it's a little sheer, not as pigmented as I wished, but I love coral shades, so I'm going to try to pop this on my cheeks a lot more this month. Another one, this used to be one of my favorites. Loved it. It's Milani's Blush in Sweet Rose. I got this a while back for 75% off, and I want to use it more. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. I love this color, so this will definitely be in some videos this month. This is a bronzer too, I just forgot. It just looks like the blushes to me. This is a Jordana Classic Bronze Blush Powder. They say it's blush, but it's a very bronze shade, more of a bronzer. Gonna see if I can use this to contour and things like that. So I'm excited to use this. These are very affordable. I just haven't really shown it any love just because I've been caught up with other bronzers. So I'm excited to see if this will possibly work as an affordable contour shade. Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do like this series and want me to continue you to do it. I know I talked a lot. Thank you for staying to the end if you did. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page down below if you're interested in maybe winning this balm palette. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!